Hi there folks, Rich Burdess from Datacom, Christchurch, New Zealand with an uh, extension to a recent clip I put up about buttons. This one is shaded buttons um, in your power apps with rounded corners if you want them. Um, and so a couple of little sneaky tricks to make this happen. A regular button um, is just a flat color um, in a power app, but if you want to turn it into a gradient button to make your app look a little bit more exciting or give it the rounded corners, um, it's not too difficult. Um, it's a pretty simple trick. Um, what I've done here is I've grouped um, the three buttons, one, two, and three. Um, and all I'm doing is using a button and HTML text as well. So I've got a button where I've set the background of the button to be um, clear. Um, so just do that, basically that one. Um, and up right behind the button, the same dimensions, I've put HTML text. Um, so for HTML text, you can just insert text HTML, um, and that allows you to inject CSS into your power app if you want to. Um, so what I'm doing for the CSS for this guy is I've created a div um, in my HTML so divider. Um, I have used the style, so inline style basically for this guy. Um, background with a linear gradient of negative 180. If I change that to um, negative 90, you'll see the the button changes, so it could be cool to do that. Um, then pick your um, hex, hex, hexadecimal colors. Cool, and then so just yeah, pick your hexadecimal, co hexadecimal colors using this syntax. Set the height to be the same height as the button, and then align the button and the background together. Put the uh, HTML item behind the button, um, and then for this guy here, I've got a border radius. Um, so in the actual button itself, um, I've got top left radius, bottom right radius, both set to 40, and then radius bottom left is set to 0, right? So I've got 40, 0, 40, 0, um, essentially. And I do exactly the same in my HTML text piece. So CSS, border radius, you can call it out. Um, and that's going to give me um, curved background. So if, if I ungroup um, this particular item, stretch away from each other you'll see what we've got going on so we've got an invisible button and then that's my background with my text guy zoom in yeah there we go um, so click off it so that's the shape you can create quite easily with HTML text um, in your power apps and then just bring the the other guy over the top and then you're done you've got a button um, that has a shaded background um, and then you can yeah have no rounded corners um, or you can have fully rounded corners. So this one's got the um, border radius for all items set to 40. So 40, 40. You could just do a single 40 for that. Make sure you put PX on it and it'll work. Um, and then in your button for that guy, you're going to want to have border radius of 40. So as long as they match, you're going to um, have your app looking um, so your your button and your background matching up together with the same shape. So it's, it's a cool way to add your um, your colors into your app. Um, just remember that when you're hovering over these guys, you're not going to get um, there's no sort of on hover action that I can call to cr change a, a variable or change a context variable to change that background color yet. So you just pick a color that's close enough. And remember, if you're on a mobile device anyway, you're not really going to see that as you tap the icon. So it's not not the end of the world, but um, get something that's close to it um, that works for you. Um, and, and go wild, making um, cool shapes to make your power apps more interesting. Cool. Hope this helps. Cheers.